Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Luis and God bless every single one of you. Today is August 14, 2023 and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some breaking news updates, some very important information coming out. If you can, please share the video. And it says here, the sleeping giant gov withholding. Look at this, pallets of donation to the island. All right, just follow me on this one here, guys. Let me just zoom it out so you have a better view. We're going to see what's going on in this story. Multiple pallets shrink wrapped. It's just being, I don't know, it seems like it's being uh, abandoned or something. Just uh, dropped off somewhere. Now, all these, uh, all these merchandise and stuff is on pallets. Every single one of them are shrink wrapped. Every single one of them are shrink wrap, which means that they haven't been open. You see all that shrink wrap? Every single one of them hasn't been open yet. Uh, we're going to see what's going on here, guys. But uh, if this is the real deal, it's pretty messed up. And uh, we've seen something like this happen in uh, Puerto Rico. You guys know about Hurricane Maria uh, back, I believe, in 2017 or 2018. You had all these pallets. Uh, it, it just were misplaced somewhere else and more than 5,000 Puerto Ricans uh, have lost their L-I-B-E-S, which by the way, the number in, in this island uh, is at 96, possibly is at 100. I believe the number is whew, way up there. All right, so we do have more information here. I wanna show you this one. All right, look at this. We are seeing um, the sleeping giant leader, right? He's coming out. He's saying no comment. Uh, they basically ask him a question about the island. Uh, so the leader, any comments on the rising situation in the island? He said no comments. Ooh, yikes. But we have some breaking news updates. Mr. Burns is about to give 200 million to Crane. Money, 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 money is going to UKR. A lot of it. Updates. The Sleeping Giant on Monday, today, announced 200 million in all these biblical war stuff. Air defenses, air, uh, air defenses and anti-mine clearing equipment to UKR. Hmm. After an accounting error allowed new funding. Yikes. We have some more breaking news updates. Restoring the island from the effects of this event will cost $5.52 billion. Meanwhile, Mr. Burns want to give Crane 40 billion. So he doesn't go to, Ho I mean, excuse me, he doesn't go to Ohio. You guys already know what happened in Ohio. That's huge event of the train development. He never went there. He doesn't want to speak about what's going on in the 50th state and this palette of Donation, food, and clothing is being put to the side. And Mr. Burns is focusing on biblical war. Now, I told you guys months ago, actually last year, that Mr. Burns has a spirit, antichrist spirit of war. His mind is focusing in biblical wars. All other stuff, he's like, mm-mm. Get that, you know, get it away. I don't got time for that. So uh, we're going to see what's going on here, guys. Nearly 2,200 buildings were damaged or destroyed in Maui. The day before, you had this news reported that the DEATH toll from the Wi-Fi in Hawaii has reached 93. The number's at 96 now. Wildfires in Hawaii have become the deadliest in the U.S. in a century. Mm, mm, mm. 
Wow. Oh, man. Oh. Unbelievable. Before? After. Oh, man. Oh. All right, I do have an article here. This is coming out from uh, what is this? NBC, something like that. Uh, they are the one that put the latest number at ninety six. The number of the island will rise as search teams once again cope Lahaina wreckage. All right, let me take you back onto Twitter though. I want to show you more stuff here. Let me just read the comments here really quick. And guys, my family is from Puerto Rico. And even my family says that they're still going through like recovery from that hurricane. And also when it comes to the power grid. Uh, so it, it's really sad that you have sleeping giant territory like Hawaii or Puerto Rico uh, that is being put to the side. It's been like years for Puerto Rico. Uh, but we have to put uh, other lands like UKR and now we're about to go to uh, another biblical war this time in Nigeria and also giving a lot of money to Taiwan I mean I mean it's just what about the sleeping giant what about Ohio Hawaii so someone said this there are videos online from residents claiming that uh, the Blue and National Guard are refusing to allow food, clothing, gas, medicine to go past their barriers. Even the thou those the thousands inside the barriers are suffering. If they leave the area to get food, etc., they are not. They are not allowed back in. They are prisoners. One man said he has people staying at his house and they need food. His grandmother uh, need medicine. Her house was destroyed. In the meantime, in the meantime, Mr. Byrne has gone on a 10 day vacation. Came back, went ca uh, camping, then went back on a weekend vacation. When asked about Mari, he said, no comment, no comment. No comment. He came back from vacation for this. And then he went back to vac on vacation. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Ooh. Guys. I just read an article and I talked about this over on Patreon. They're right there. See what, what I'm pointing at? They want, they, they are in need of B-L-O-O-D, but they are requesting from, uh, I gotta be careful what I say, from the G-A-Y, their blood. And this is how it starts to, again, what Jesus mentioned, the gospel of Luke ch uh, chapter 21, when it comes to great, uh, you know, uh, famines, when it comes to all these, uh, you know, S-I-C-K-N-E, you know, the rest of the words. Well, that's how all this type of stuff is being spread. So we got to pray for the people in Hawaii. There's a possibility they're going to be using B-L-O-O-D from those people. Man. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So it's got to be the G approved or you can't help anyone. Welcome. 
to the future. Nah, welcome to Mr. Burns world. There's something not right about this. Well, again, it started in Puerto Rico. It began in Puerto Rico. Ah, there we go. Same as they did in Puerto Rico after Hurricane Maria. There we go. And in Puerto Rico, uh, instead of 100, 200 L-I-V-E-S, that is said that, you know, passed away from that, it was more than 5,000. 5,000. And supposedly they were hiding the, they were hiding the B-O-D-I-E-S, something like that. But man, it was scary back then. Here's the thing, when it comes to the island Puerto Rico, those that is running Puerto Rico, those gov, they work for the sleeping giants. It's not like uh, uh, they are Puerto Ricans and you know, th that's their fault. No, those in the island, they work for the sleeping giant. Actually, many of them are best friends with Mr. Bill and I'm just gonna say the cold word, Bill Hilly, I mean, uh, you guys know who I'm talking about. Mrs. 33,000 emails. So they best friend with them. Uh, they do the same thing after every hurricane in Louisiana. All right, let's go to the article. Similar thing happened in Puerto Rico. Same, see, everybody's sharing that same story. How do we know this is for Hawaii and not some other disaster? No, it's for Hawaii. Unbelievable. Here's, here's the thing. What concerns me a lot, what concerns me a lot is red. C-R-O-S-S. -S. That's what concerns me a lot. That's what concerns me a lot. Let me show you why. This is coming out from the, this is coming out from the website. This is their website. If you look at it, bam. Let me just bring it up and make sure, you know, everybody's gonna be like, oh, look, that's at the website. That's not the website. That's their website up there. Link and everything. All right. So that's the information coming out. They want B L O O D from them. When I say them, I already showed you the name. I'm not going to say it. They want B L O O D from them. It, it, it's just, I mean, I call it like the abomination. And now we're going to see a lot of uh, stuff going on. The <coughs> a lot of that going on. All right, so we're going to see what's going on here. The number has rise in the coming, excuse me, the toll is expected to rise in the coming days. You have Maui Blue, Mr. John said on Saturday that search dog have only gone through 3%. Oh my goodness. 3% of the disaster area in the historic town of Lahaina so far. Oh man. 3%. So you have the island gov saying a video statement on Sunday that 2,700 buildings have been, mm, it's going to cost 5.6 billion to get this thing repaired. Mr. Burns, where are you? No comment. I'm going back on vacation. Don't bother me. Yeah, remember when people started complaining about the four or five? 
you went on vacation on New Year's Eve, and people's like, you can't go on vacation. Uh, it's New Year's Eve. So here we go. Uh, I just ask for everyone to please pray for those on the island. Pray for them. And uh, I know that situation because my family, they need a help in Puerto Rico. They, they live really, really hard, and they lost, you know, my grandparents, they lost their house. It's completely damaged. So um, right now, my grandparents, they passed away. My grandpa passed away last year. My grandma passed away the year before. But, uh, yeah, my grandpa served in the military. He's, he's, he was in the Marines, served many years. And uh, they even said that it was Puerto Rico is no longer the same. It's no longer the same. That's why so many of them are leaving the island. But uh, this is why I tell people, instead of leaving, because a lot of people are leaving to come to the Sleeping Giant, instead of leaving, I mean, you got to do something about your home. You got to do something about your home. And that's the thing. I feel like they want many to leave so they could have the island for themselves. So who are they? Well, you guys know who I'm talking about. The ones that are the most powerful, powerful, powerful. All right. So it says here you have the number of um, the catas uh, catastrophic event in the island is expected to rise significantly in the coming days as such teams make their way through the wreckage in the devastated town of Lahaina. You have the gov says search team will likely find 10 to 20 uh, oh man 10 to 20 b-o-d-i-e-s daily in an operation that is expected to last 10 days some 1300 are still missing whoops give me a second here guys Okay, so there are more fatalities that will come. So you have uh, the Gov told CBS an interview that aired Monday today. So the fire was so hot that what we find is the tragic finding that you would imagine. It's hard to recognize anybody, but they are able to determine if someone did pass. Now, this event has left at least 96 out so far and caused $5.6 billion in damage and the worst natural event in state history and the most powerful blaze in the sleeping giant in more than a century. Maui Blue Chief said on Saturday that search dog have only gone through 3% of the event area in the historic town of Lahaina so far. So... You have Pelletier uh, describe the uh, painstaking process of using rapid DNA test to identify the delicate. Oh man! Basically, guys, here's the thing: is that those that passed can be recognized. It just they no longer look like. You know, people. That's it. It just, it. I mean, they could look like rocks. They could look like whatever different things, but not humans anymore. And uh, that's why they ha uh, they have those uh, dogs, and they're doing uh, DNA and stuff like that. It just, you know, it's 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 like the Bible says when uh, the Pharisees took Jesus and gave him to the Gentiles to the Romans. Uh, you know, the people ask for, you know, to uh, punish and punish Jesus. The Roman, uh, they, they whipped him. They beat him really bad, completely beat him. And when he came out, it's not like the movies where you see, you know, Jesus with the, you, you know, scars in the back of his back and the face all beat up. When he came out. He didn't look like human anymore. They beat him so bad, like literally beat him. The Bible, in, in the book of Isaiah, you know, Isaiah in the Old Testament does speak about the foreshadowing of Jesus Christ, how he would look and the, the stuff that's going to happen to him. Uh, he was not a handsome man. He wasn't, even though you got all these movies making him with blue eyes and blonde hair, like he's about to do some head and shoulder commercial. Jesus was never like that. 
actually uh, he was not a attractive man but the inside his inside is pure clean spiritual and that's what the you know the Pharisees didn't see that so when he whipped Jesus I mean he didn't he didn't look like human it was like what's Jesus he's right there in front of you is that him you guys really beat him really bad so it, it, it's just you know transformation from human to ooh, it's brutal life is uh life could be brutal so so you have uh, all this using rapid DNA test to identify the you know what remains of those who yikes and the blaze so hot that it melted metal. This is when people is gonna come out and say, this had to be DEW stuff. So he called man, melted metal. That's some hot flame fire right there. Oh man. He called on families who have missing loved ones to take uh, DNA so authorities can identify those who have passed. My, my, my. So this person said nobody knows the magnitude. There we go. No one knows the magnitude of the loss yet. So this could be in the thousands. They say 1,500 missing. And um, yeah, the numbers could be way up there. So you have the blue chief said he understands the public wants info quickly, but authorities are focused on conducting the search correctly. There's word, uh, excuse me, their word here called pon uh, ponon. It means righteous. Doing what's right, this person said. We're going to do this, but we're going to do it for now, uh, because we're going to do it the right way. We're doing it. Uh, we're doing it with respect. We're going to do it with aloha. We're going to do it with dignity. Once again, you have the gov send a video statement on Sunday that 2,700 buildings out in Lahaina with an estimated value of $5.6 billion. He described the blaze as a fire hurricane, fire hurricane that moved a mile a minute with temperature as high as 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow. 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's, that's, that's just brutal. The Gov attributed the condition that uh, fanned the blaze to warming. Now, the island was suffering from drought conditions in a run up to the fire and was also hit with strong winds due in part to Hurricane Doa, uh, which uh, passed south of the island. Guys, it hasn't rained that much where I live at. My backyard grass will be high. Instead, it's brown. It's dry. And let's say something like that catches on. <laughs> It will burn up really quick. And I made a video a month and a half ago that uh, I'm preparing my bug out, um, bug out bag just in case. Because the water's hot. That is supercharged turbo to hurricanes, which could cause a huge category five to the state of Florida. Multiple hurricanes. You must learn from Hawaii. You must learn from Greece. You must learn from all these lands that are being hit with dry droughts strong uh, weather that could take place floridians not only floridians but also alabama mississippi new orleans texas northeastern part of the u.s is very important to take note prepare yourself these events is getting crazy uh in the year 2023 now when you see brown grass then you know it should be a sign god said god said look out for signs is out there pay attention i know people are into barbie oh, Lewis, i gotta watch barbie but people's not seeing the real sign all right guys a lot of this stuff here i'm just gonna leave in the comments box because many of them are just gonna speak about the events the like the storm and 
one fire was deemed extinguished, but it must not have been completely out. What? The gov said, okay, this is when uh, I made a video that the fire started again, but the fire was taken out quickly. Once again, 60 miles per hour winds with uh, gusts up to 81 miles per hour, then spread the blades rapidly. That's what a fire hurricane is doing to look like. Okay, so he's basically giving updates on how this thing uh, occurred. <clears throat> because uh, you have fire, but then a hurricane came and just completely spread that thing quick. Now again, they're calling it the era of global warming. The Gov, uh, the Gov told MSNBC in an interview on Sunday. And so we have to do right now, we can stop warming and reverse it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, the Bible says that in the beginning there was a flood. In the end, will be fire. I do believe it is a combination of both. But most, I believe that it is biblical. The sun is increasing, releasing solar flare. The world is changing. Even the minds and hearts of many are changing. Many are chasing the abomination. I mean, Barbie already made $1 billion and moving, you know, all that uh, ticket sales, $1 billion. And uh, that goes to tell you that 90% uh, were men that watched the uh, Barbie movie. <laughs> so, I mean, it just, the minds, everything is changing. And times, world events. God has given up many to a uh, Reaper Bay mine. We are seeing great twilight zone going on. Uh, Paul, the apostle Paul, calls his perilous times, perilous men. I want to warn the entire planet about this. All of the sleeping giant and all of the world. Josh said. Mr. Green said, excuse me. The Lahaina fire is 85% contained. All right. The upcoming country fire is 60% contained. And... This area here, fire is 100% contained, according to Maui County officials. The blaze in Maui is the powerful wildfire in the Sleeping Giant since the 1918. The fire in Minnesota that taken out hundreds of people. The water in Lahaina and many parts of Upper Kola is not safe to drink, not safe to drink. Authority said, bottled water should be used for all drinking, brushing teeth, ice making, and food preparation. But the pallets are being withheld. Yikes. Just looking at stuff like that, just uh uh. All right, guys. I'm going to leave the rest of the link in the comments box. But this is where we at right now. Don't you think? The leader of the sleeping giant would have the time and say, let me talk about this. Ladies and gentlemen, as the leader of the sleeping giant, I got some information, uh, disturbing information. We got some good news. We also got some bad, uh, bad news. And my job, my job as the leader of the sleeping giants is to inform you what my administration will do and how we're going to get this done. Uh, he ain't gonna say that right now. He probably, uh, he probably went back in that car to watch Barbie and give uh, Crane another two hundred million dollars. That's it. Welcome to the Sleeping Giants. I remember the Sleeping Giant had true leaders that used to stand up and put Sleeping Giant first. Not anymore. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2. Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about in the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Give a light to Jesus Christ and get baptized. We are living in tough times. Till next time later. Peace.